Good morning, guys. Lacey and Harley here with Amy Lundkamp. <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing well today. We are at the first mow of the year for this yard. This is the bowl yard, which it's also an Airbnb. If you guys have been following along, then you will recognize this place. We've uh, we've done several videos on this property, mowing and. We've done some landscaping stuff and uh, fall decoration and stuff like that for them. So if you guys have not seen those videos, go back and check those out. But ooh, I can see the grass over there is looking thick. Yeah, this, oh, in the yard over there at that property, we mowed that a few times last season. Or was it season before last? I think it was year before last, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> but they got it. They're keep, that yard was, it used to stay really, really tall, but man, it's looking, they're keeping it looking good this year. Uh, and you might can see down there, I'm not sure if you can see some of the color, the daffodils. There's a lot of bulbs down here in this bank. This is one of the jobs. We also did videos of this too. This uh, whole bank down through there used to be woods. You know, it used to look like that over there. And we cleared all that <clears throat> and, you know, um, spread straw and everything and planted bulbs, you know, and we did it in sections. I think we did that in like three different sections over the last couple of years. There's two, there's daffodils, there's hyacinths. I can see them blooming from here. Yeah, we'll take you guys down there and uh, <laughs> and, and show it, um, which I'm, I mow up here at the top, the Airbnb, that's it down there. Um, I'll link it. Guys, if you're ever in the area, we're in Parrotsville, Tennessee right now. It's a very, very beautiful little town. It's close to Gatlinburg, close to Pigeon Forge, all that stuff. Um, so if you're in the area, check them out. But uh, the Airbnb's down there. The main property's up here on the hill, and we call it the bowl because I don't know if you can tell, but that goes off downhill, and then it it goes back up down there too. So that whole bottom is a big bowl shape. So uh, hence the name. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try to get this. Yeah. I just twisted it worse. <laughs> Hold on. I'm getting myself confused. Hold on. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I got it. Yeah, I'm trying to get this GoPro. Because <laughs> last year... We got the GoPros. Can you help? Okay, okay got it. Never mind. Uh, for the filming, and for the longest time, we were messing up because we didn't know, like, the GoPros can actually film in very high definition, higher than the computer that we had can actually read, I guess. I really don't understand all that and how that works, but uh, so a lot of the footage that we filmed got real glitchy. You know, it was too advanced or whatever so it was like eh, eh. it just looked the frames per second was awesome. yeah and it was just like it ruined a lot of the footage so we stopped filming with them for a long time and uh now we you know we figured out what was going on and we fixed that you know so now we know to film in the you know the lower one or whatever and uh the footage works out really good these are actually very very good quality gopros the hero nines. yeah and they've been through it, guys. They've been roughed up, but uh, they're really, really good. And uh, yeah, so we're, we've been doing a lot of thinking, guys. It's been hard like this season, because at the beginning of the season, we're always like, you know, we're just going into our residential yards and, you know, we're very excited to get back, which we still are, but it's kind of easier to build the schedule. This season has been totally different. We're doing the McDonald's contract. We've extended that. If you guys have been following along, then you know. If not, then go back and <laughs> watch the other videos and you can find out about a lot of that. But, uh, so they're wanting us to do a good bit of work, which we're so thankful for, but they're wanting us to do like a couple days a week. And we're traveling for a lot of these jobs. We've been in Virginia. That's pretty much where all, the only place we've been, but we've been all over Virginia in um, uh, several different towns. And we've been very, thankful for the opportunity but it's been kind of difficult um trying to get into building the lawn care schedule so we're doing a lot of thinking about stuff like that and um we you know there might be some yards that we have to let go this season 
That's what and that's, we've mainly been thinking about. And that's always, oh, it's so sad. You know, the, the thought of it is, is so sad, but there's, you know, some things like you have to weigh your pros and cons on every situation. Look at your priorities. Look at what is going to uh, benefit yourself and your family the most. So, you know, we'll take you guys along. Like there's still, there will still be mowing, you know, Lord yep. willing, because we have the McDonald's contract and I know you guys we don't want <laughs> We may pick up more stores to mow. Yeah, and then we have like, you know, we are still going to keep residential yards. You know, we definitely, uh, we had uh, 19 altogether, including our McDonald's. We had four of those, so the rest were residential. So we'll kind of like go through and, um, you know, if we can build a schedule good enough around all of them where it fits and, and we don't have to like really overwork ourselves too hard to try to get everything done, then we'll keep them all. But if we can't, then, uh, you know, we'll just, you know, if you guys keep following along, you'll find out, you know, how it all plays out. But that's something we've been thinking about a lot the past couple of days. And, but, uh, but yeah, well, that's one good thing about mowing. You have lots of time for thinking. So <laughs> we'll, we'll get this all, all straightened out. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get some weed eating footage with this today. And, uh, maybe we'll put you know, Harley, he can get some from his mower or something. And, uh, yeah, try to put together a pretty decent video for you guys. So, uh, all right, guys, we can't just keep standing around. We got to work. So, come on. Let's, Let's go, go mo. Mow.
throws the bowl, so it takes him a good bit longer than it does me. I'm able to go over all of my sections twice, you know, in the same amount of time that he can go over his section once. But uh, it looks really good. We've been trying over the last couple years to try to like overseed and different things like that to like try to fill in which as the season goes on it will definitely fill in and be green pretty much all throughout there but it is like still like a little bit patchy right now but guys really the east tennessee grass around here you there's very very few people that have one uniform type of grass in their yard um, but we're very very thankful because uh, no matter what, uh, it grows really well. So that's job security. So uh, yeah, all right. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go ahead and get my weed eater out. I weed eat the top house and this bank right here. And sometimes, just depend on um, how far along Harley is, I'll start down this side bank right here too. There's a lot of weed eating on this yard, guys. That's one thing, like, because it's a, a solid bank all the way around. Like, over there, which is not, this is the other, the neighbor's property line. It's the only one, the only part that doesn't have a huge bank on it. It's the only flat one, but this bank right here is actually pretty steep. Um, Harley can mow most of that one over there. We just have, like, a little bit of weed eating right at the top. Um but we have to weed eat this side bank right here. And then it goes around, it's a bank behind, you know, around the side, the back of there as well. The weed eating up here at the top house is is pretty easy, but it's the, it, you know, the hard stuff is, is down there. But we've been doing it for a few years, so we've gotten it down where we are fairly, fairly quick at it. So uh, as long as we get started, <laughs> so come on, let's weed eat this stuff. trailer opposed to the open deck trailer is you do not crank your mower in here and stay in here for any amount of time <laughs> you get that thing crunk and get out of there <laughs> because uh, the fumes obviously so yeah always be super careful about that that is one difference that we've just noticed but something that's come in really handy is that alloy man blower because it is battery powered so we have been able to blow the grass out of here when we get it dirty, which look, I should have blew mine off outside. I'm the one that keeps making a mess in here. But you can do, you can use that little blower in here all day long and you're gonna be perfectly fine. So that is uh, one plus for electric tools. And uh, yeah. <laughs>
see him, but to walk over here. I don't know if you can really tell how steep it is. Have to weed eat the whole side over there because the mower's too big to fit through. Okay. Yeah, see Harley, he's coming around down there. I don't know if you can see him. He's tiny. <laughs> okay, but okay, we need to get started. Let's do it. mowing and weed eating um, but today instead of getting out the big Husqvarna backpack blower I'm going to use this small alloy man handheld electric blower it's uh, got a 40 volt battery it's very very lightweight and it's really cool and I feel like for yards like this where we're dealing with very very small minimal just grass clippings this is really really great because the backpack blower I do love it it's very very powerful and we will still get a lot a lot of use out of it but this I feel like it's gonna be really good just for like when you just want to be really quick you don't have to crank this up you literally it you just turn it on and off and then it has three speeds so all right guys come on we're gonna use this on the highest speed and blow these uh, little grass clippings away
Okay, guys. Yeah, that was it. I love, love, love this little Alloy Man blower. We've had nothing but good, good results out of all the Alloy Man products that we have been sent. They've sent us everything for free. They've been so kind. We have an Alloy Man collection right now, guys. And I'm not even kidding. And I love their color scheme because it matches our, our true love, Cub Cadet. And, uh, yeah, but guys, if you would like to purchase one of these for yourself, uh, we got a 10% 10% discount code for you. I'll put it on the screen. It will also be linked in the description. And we also have a link to where you can t go um, hit the link and go and buy it through Amazon and yeah. uh, and, and use our code. To their website. Oh, it goes to their website? You can get it cheaper directly from their website. Oh, you can get it cheaper from their website, and you can use our 10% code. But if you do buy it through the link of Amazon, that will give us a little bit of commission on that. So, guys, if you do that, we are so, so very grateful. And I do not think that you would be disappointed. If you're in looking in comparison to, like, a backpack blower, no, it's not going to be that powerful. But for what it is, it's great. You know, for... The size of this, the power of this, it's great. It's very, very, very lightweight. You could uh, take this off, you could have just this nozzle, and you can get up in places. We just realized a while ago that it's great for kind of going up underneath. Um, out the deck of the mower. Yeah, to get around the um, belts and stuff to get the grass out of there on the mower. So, so awesome for that. I blew the carport out this morning <laughs> with it, and I uh, just blew uh, all of their. Their driveway off with it's it today. It's great to use inside the trailer because there's yeah. no fumes. That's what I told him that earlier yeah, when I did yeah. a little clip because that's when I mentioned it first. So I was like, oh, well, I'll just go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I hit him in the head with it. I'll just go ahead and show it to you guys and blow this off with it so you guys could kind of see that. But yeah, okay. All that being said, this is pretty much going to wrap it up for this yard, guys. We are going to be mowing another yard today, probably. Um, so if we do that, it'll probably be a different video. But, uh, but yeah, look out for all kind of videos. Like, we're going to still be mowing, but you'll probably see a lot of landscape redesign and stuff like that. So, uh, hopefully you guys will like to stick around for all the different content that we plan to put out for you guys. Not just the mowing. So, uh, but yeah. And if you just like the mowing, then we'll try to keep as many mowing videos for you as possible. But yeah. thank you to every single one of you guys. Thank you to all of our subscribers. Thank you so much to our members, Brad, um, Brian Oldenkamp, and Sal Valencia. Thank you guys so, so very much. You guys continue to make this possible, and your continued support means nothing but the world to us, and we are so, so very thankful. And we're very thankful for all of you guys. If you just are subscribed to our channel, if you're watching our videos, liking our videos, commenting on our videos, all sharing them, that definitely helps, guys. Y'all have gotten us back out in the algorithm because I know stuff like this is, is trending right now because it's coming into that season. So if you guys just keep pushing our videos, put them out there in that algorithm, put them on your Facebook, put them on your Instagram. If you have comments on the yard, if you have comments on the equipment, anything, if you're a company, you want us to review some of your products, our P.O. box is in the description, all that good, good stuff. If you just want to send us something, our P.O. box is down there for anyone who's interested in that information. Go write us a letter. We'll <laughs> yes, write please. Yeah, we love handwritten letters. That'd be awesome. <laughs> But uh, anything, yeah, stickers. We love stickers. We want to put them in the trailer. All kinds of stuff. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to get out of here, really. So, uh, we <laughs> we're just, go. yeah, we got stuff we got to do, guys. We got to go to Knoxville. But, uh, but, yeah, guys, so if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel if you're not, guys. And please share, share, share this video with any and everyone that you think might enjoy this kind of content. And guys, you know already, we can't wait to do it again. So until, until next time, time see, see ya. ya.